had a full night's sleep. Well, close to it. Feels a lot better than trying to wake up after four hours to go up there and hike our butts off. So this today should be really good. We're gonna go peek around after we eat. We know that there should be at least one almost full crow ram, if not full crow, right up behind us. And if not that, then we'll just hike up to the peak, stay along the nice edge, and go down to the next draw where we saw three sheep last night, but they were a little too far away. We'll see what happens. start to the morning with some well-deserved rest. Um, we're about to go up behind us to the straw here and go see if we can spot that uh, full curl ram that we kind of put to bed last night. If not, we have a couple other options that we are uh, looking at, so looking to be a really good day today. I'm really excited. I just want to see more sheep. That's the best it can do. So we hiked up this face and uh, looking for those rams and we I think we busted them. Um, there was about five or six in the group with a bruiser in the front and nothing else even close to legal. So they went up this hill behind us. Um, we're still trying to figure out if we're gonna stay, wait for the clouds to pass, or if we're gonna try and backtrack up around them. And if we don't get them, I mean, we still gotta go east um, to another ridge where we know there were rams last night. So we'll see what happens. Well. Well, someone, not saying who, decided this was a good idea. It was a group effort. But this is definitely the dumbest idea to come all the way up here so far because uh, we're pretty high, almost 6,000 feet up, and uh, like almost like on a knife's edge, and you can't see anything in any direction. It'll definitely be a lot more comfortable once you can actually see the ground. But until then, I guess we'll just uh, sit here for a little while longer and eat. <laughs> would not do again. So we made it up over probably the most treacherous stuff, hopefully, of the whole trip. Um, right now we're kind of socked in up high on this mountain, looking down to an area where we saw sheep yesterday. The wind is in our face, we're in a really good spot, but just really foggy, so we're just 
having a snack and just waiting for the fog to clear. Hopefully we can see something and go after them and find something legal. Hopefully the ones that we busted earlier came this way too because the main one in that pack was a bruiser. He was big. One nut. Oh, found it. So we uh, waited out the clouds and uh, kind of eased our way down to where we thought the rams uh, were that we saw yesterday and came up with nothing. So now we're just on this nice big uh, hill here, just glassing away and wouldn't you know it, on the other side of the drainage we see even more rams, so the chase is still on and we're just going to take some time and see if we can glass up something legal within a uh, reasonable distance instead of having to put on 10 miles a day. We got flies. Yep. Mosquitoes. More mosquitoes. So, glassed up a few different groups of rams. One of them had no legal ones in it. Um, we're gonna head back to camp, eat some food, get to a higher point, look at some other ones that were in where we were yesterday, um, see if any of those are legal, and then go from there. We're actually not sure if where we were earlier was even the right slide that we saw the sheep on yesterday. So, it's a mystery. There's no sheep, at least on our side, that we can see. So back to camp, nice little walk but there's mosquitoes. Hey. I think I got him. I think so too. I think take that, yeah. Give me a hug, please. I need a hug. Oh my God. So I just shot a doll sheep about 350 yards away. We were trying to glass up a big group of rams in the next drainage over, and I look over and I just see a ram feeding on this little hill over here. And I look below, and there's four more. One of them's legal, 
I took three shots. <coughs> Excuse me. The first two, I think, were uh, I'm pretty sure were misses. The third one, though, I got him. He was limping. He broke his front leg. So we're just going to pack everything up real quick and go see what happens. I'm shaking so bad with adrenaline right now. Pound it, man. Come on, these mosquitoes are horrible. Let's see how long night ahead of us. Look through your binos. I see one up top. And I see two. Well, after a long day of chasing a bunch of rams and spooking some and chasing after ones that we thought were there but it weren't, we were giving up and we were on our way back to camp. We were glass in a bowl behind our camp or on the other side of it. I turn around and I see a sheep on the hill and then there were four more underneath him. And then this was the only legal one in the group. And after a bit of a struggle, here we are. I couldn't be more elated and I just wanna just say thank you to this animal. For everything. Well, it's not getting any lighter so Got to clean them up, and uh, luckily our camp is less than a mile away, so that's some good news for a change. Yeah, time to get to work. Time to get to work. Uh, that pack out to the pickup. Uh, I'm glad you're carrying the whole thing. We'll think about. We'll talk about that part tomorrow. <laughs> so then my wife. A message. What a day. What the what a last few days. And what a couple days we have ahead of us. Thank you. I haven't done anything yet. We got a lot of work to do. But thank you for being here with me and epic adventure. Experiencing this with me. Twelve or not twelve hours ago. I don't know how many hours ago we were at the top of the mountain. Quite what the heck we're doing. Yeah. Turns out we should have at the bottom. I know. What the heck are we doing at the top? It's a good question. Wasting time. Should have been closer to camp. Obviously the sheep are gonna be closer to camp. I really appreciate you shooting this close to camp too, by the way. <laughs> should have shot it closer to the truck, but no sheep there. No pain, no gain, as they say. Yeah, buddy. Sorry, I'm getting blood all over inside of your fly tarp. No, that's okay. Flash it. Oh my goodness, man. Give us a little update, what just happened? Oh uh, well, we just got back to the tent after shooting a ram and field dressing it and cleaning it and everything. And uh, just the walk from the kill site, which is less than half a mile. Is that what you say that's fair? Yeah. Yeah, less than half a mile. Yep, that sucked. No, nah, it was about a mile, but. I don't know if that's a combination, like if it's because I'm tired or it's because I'm a baby. I don't know, we'll see. It also rained since it, yeah. <laughs> it rained the entire time. From the moment the ram was shot, until through now, still raining. So get these stupid wet clothes off, maybe eat something and then go to bed and sleep in. That's what I'm excited about, sleeping in. Good night. Good night. <laughs>